Hey guys, how's it going? I just got done buying a bunch of movies at an antique thrift store. I saw about this on Facebook Marketplace and uh, it was just a seller with like a giant shelf full of DVDs. Looked like a movie rental store or something. Uh, there was just a lot of DVDs. I didn't even know if it was legit or not. And uh, I messaged and never got a response for a while. I finally got a response. This lady told me that uh, it was an antique store in the town that I work in, and uh, the movies were advertised as $2 a piece, which is a great deal, and uh, so finally uh, I had a day off, and she has kind of particular hours that they're open, but I had a day off and some money and, and on the time that she was open, so I went there today, prepared to spend at least $20 or so. And I saw quite a bit of movies that I wanted. I actually put some back. I ended up buying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 movies. Uh, which at $2 a piece would be about 26 or so. Uh, but they did add a little bit of tax. But I ended up spending about under 25 because they also had a deal of um, buy five get one free that I didn't know at the time. I was like, ooh, I thought about going back and getting some more, but I was like, I'll just wait, but I'm probably, I'll probably definitely go back again when I get some more money. Like I said, there's some movies that I put back. There's nothing too majorly phenomenal here, but there was at least one that I consider a gem out of this collection that I used to own, and it's on my wish list to get again, and I'm super happy that I got this, and I got it for $2 at this thrift shop randomly and that's that's weird so um, but we'll get to it when I get to it I'll just start and uh, first of all I got the amazing spider-man I like comic book movies but I'm not a huge fan like I didn't watch every single one when they came out in theaters um, but I did watch spider-man far from home with my cousin in theater um, this one uh, no, I don't know if I've seen this one let's see I don't think so wait the lizard um, no. I've seen the one that has um, Michael Keaton in it as the villain, so I think this was this is the first one of this new Spider-Man series. I think my favorite Spider-Man, no matter what, is going to be the one with, um, I don't even remember his name now, <sighs> whatever. Is it Tobey Maguire? Or, uh, maybe? I don't know. But the one that had William Dafoe, it's the Green Goblin. That trilogy. I love that. It's also directed by Sam Raimi or whatever his name is because he, he did the Evil Dead series, so he's a great director. But, uh, you know, Batman's one of my favorite superheroes. Um, so, but I love DC and I love Marvel. I don't have, like, the Avengers movies, but I do have that original Spider Man trilogy that I said that I liked. And um, so, there were some. Spider-Man movies there, I was actually able to get quite a few of them, so I got The Amazing Spider-Man. So I'm, I'm glad that that I can uh, get those. This is Grease. I mean, who doesn't love Grease, right? I, I want to get a lot more musicals. I don't know how many I have now. Probably, maybe none, but if I do, they're very few. Uh, I picked up a couple in this lot, so, but Grease is one that you gotta have, right? I mean, I could even own this on Blu-ray. It's a great movie. But, um, what, what did I say about Greece? You know, two dollars. I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Kung Pao, and I hope I don't have this already. I don't think that I do, but um, I love this movie. It's one of those bizarre, absurd movies. Could be like a Mel Brooks movie. Uh, it's, it's not Mel Brooks, but I'm saying, you know, it's kind of reminds me of that. How, but what it is, I think they took clips. From some from from some old kung fu movie, and they added like new uh, voiceovers to it, and it's just a bunch of stupid stuff. And um, there's a scene where he's fighting a cow. I always remember the scene where this villain is talking, or I don't know, if, maybe it's not the villain, maybe it's like the mentor or something. Somebody's talking, and um, he ends up like swallowing a moth while he's talking and like coughing. Um, you can see he has like gophers as like nunchucks and uh, there's a, a fighter in there they call like squeaky shoes and they make like a squeaky sound like every time he walks and it's just it's so funny I love it another musical another major musical 
Mary Poppins. This is the 40th anniversary edition, two disc set for $2. So, I mean, like Grease, what could be said about Mary Poppins? I'd like to see the sequel that came out with, I haven't even read a lot about that, but, um, I mean, Mary Poppins. Chimney Sweep. Um, Satie Spoon of Sugar. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love Mary Poppins? One that I actually haven't seen, but I know it's really great, and I know that this is this feels kind of like a gem too to get out of this um, <clears throat> is Deliverance. I know I've seen parts where they're basically molesting the guy and uh, telling him to squeal like a pig or whatever. I know that's kind of like the major scene in this movie, but I mean it's got Burt Reynolds in it, um, so some pretty terrifying stuff in here. But, uh, yeah, I need to watch this. It's definitely a movie that a movie collector should own, right? Deliverance. Now, here is the one that I think is the major gem to me personally, and nobody that's watching this has probably ever seen this, unless you're one of my friends and you hung out with me when I had it in the past or something, but you probably still didn't even see it then. And that is Demons by Lumberto Baba. <laughs> um... This is an Italian horror movie. It was just randomly in there. I mean, and this is like one of my favorites. And this is like a cult classic. And I used to own a lot of movies. I started buying from Amazon like way early on. They used to just sell like books and movies and stuff. And and, I, and this is when I said, you know, that I started loving David Lynch and I started looking up lists. And there was like Amazon movie lists and stuff where they would be like cult classics or. Um, you know, video nasties or whatever, and this would be on there. And I got this movie, and I love this movie. And I don't remember all the details, but it happens in a movie theater. It's like a movie theater about demons or something, a horror movie, but there's also like this ancient relic in there or something. Somehow, people in the movie start turning into demons. And uh, it, one big scene in this movie is a transformation scene where like this woman turns into a demon. And like I think like her nails are growing out and stuff like but like her teeth she grows like fangs and they like push out like her normal teeth and you see it, it's all bloody and stuff and it's just like it's so great I mean you gotta see this movie if you love horror movies and it has English dubbing I think if I remember right so um, if you hate like subtitles and stuff you I think you should still be able to watch this I can see on the back of it does maybe uh, it doesn't really say anything. And it has... Let's see what... I'll just read you the back of this movie. Let's see. Um, it says... The legendary splatter classic now uncut, uncensored, and remastered. You know, another thing I just want to say real quick. Okay, back when I was buying these movies and I started getting into a collection, I also had a movie, Intruder, that's pretty gory. And I want to get that again. And it's about like a, it's like a slasher that happens in like a supermarket. And there's like scenes where he like cuts a guy's head with a bandsaw or something. Like it doesn't pull away and it shows all these gruesome scenes. But anyway, I had like a bunch of Italian movies and stuff. Probably Dar Dario Argento and all these. I remember I had like a duffel bag full of movies. And like I would sell movies. I'd get desperate or whatever and I wanted money. And I would just like pawn movies and... So, I don't ever want to do that again, but I just remember, like, the people, like, looking through my collections, like, well, I don't know what this is, you know, I'll give you, like, a dollar for it or whatever, and like, these are, like, classics, these are, like, Italian horror movies, like, true fan lovers, or movie lovers that, like, are really into this stuff would know what this is, and I don't ever want anybody sifting through my collection like that again, judging my collection like that. They'd be looking at my Criterion collections, like, oh... You know, I'll give you two cents for this, or whatever. Like, no way, buddy. I know now that, you know, now I'm more on my feet where I'm more stable with keeping a job and everything. But, you know, it's better to have the pride and honor and joy to keep, you know, my collection. And I know the worth of it to me, so. Anyway, I'll continue to read this. They will make cemeteries, their cathedrals, and cities will be your tombs. In 1985, Italian horror masters Dario Argento and Lamberto Bava unleashed this landmark splatter shocker. So Dario Argento has some um, work in this, and it's 
spoiler alert, he is one of my top favorite four directors, so he's gonna be in the director series. I don't care. I don't care about spoilers, I'll spoil things, so. But Dario Argento is gonna be coming up, okay. About a group of strangers invited to a sneak preview at a mysterious movie theater, only to be trapped inside and transformed one by one into carnage crazed monsters. It's a one-of-a-kind combination of creepy terror and relentless gore orgy, featuring a pounding soundtrack of 80s metal, a throbbing score by whoever that did Suspiria, uh, the score in that movie, a gut-churning special effects by the guy who did Cemetery Man and Phenomena, another Dario Argento movie. This is Demons, as you've never seen it before, with every blood-drenched frame now fully remasters for the ultimate and ooze-spewing flesh playing spine ripping madness <laughs> there's just so much in this movie that's just awesome and like their eyes glow like that and stuff like <sighs> okay anyway another spider-man movie the amazing spider-man and was that what the other one was did i get it too oh, this is the second one isn't it they didn't get yeah this is the second one there's some of these stickers they didn't get off of there, you can see. She was taking these stickers off and putting them on a list when she was ringing them up, but she couldn't get them off. But this is the second one, which I haven't seen this one either. But now I can. Apparently it has Jamie Foxx in it as Electro. It's interesting. I like Jamie Foxx. The new guy, <coughs> hoping I don't have this, but uh, a zero will rise. This is one of those kind of National Lampoons type movies, um, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but there are certain ones that I like, like if you think like Animal House or, you know, this is a more modern kind of college type movie, uh, but it's a little sentimental because I remember one of my exes really loved this movie and she introduced me to it and I enjoyed it too. It's, it's a good one, you know, for some cheap laughs. Um, let's see. It's like, you know, it has a guy from Road Trip, and I have that movie that has Tom Green in it too. It's kind of like an MTV kind of type college kid movie. So there's a handful of them that I own that I like. Um, let's see. So terminally ner nerdy uh, Dizzy Harrison is routinely laughed at, ridiculed, and picked on. His senior year is nothing but an exercise in pain and torture, so Dizzy decides to change his luck after Purposely getting expelled from school, he enrolls in a rival high school with a new look, a new story, and a completely new attitude. Now the former dud becomes a major stud and finds himself the big man on campus complete with girls' popularity and more girls. But when his past resurfaces and threatens to expose the real Dizzy, he must rise to the occasion to show the world exactly what he's all about. So I don't remember a lot about this, but I did like it. So it's about a nerd who pretends to be somebody else and becomes really popular. He gets exposed or whatever. I guess here's the ticket. Here's the list for the movies that I bought. 2490. That's kind of spoiling the movies that are coming up, but you can see that. The next is A Christmas in South Park. I'm a huge <coughs> South Park fan. They have quite a bit of Christmas movies there, and I kind of like having seasonal movies. But I never knew that, I don't think I, I don't know if I knew that they had this or not. It might even be on my watch list or something. I don't know. But this is, you know, I'd like to own all South Park eventually, and there's a tons of them. There's like 20 seasons. But, you know, eventually I might try to get all those. Um, I just love South Park. Grew up with it. And um, so these are a number of Christmas specials, like from the beginning of the, this, the show. It looks like maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe from the first seven seasons, the Christmas episodes. Because, like, they'll always do Christmas episodes around Christmas. They'll do Halloween episodes around Halloween and stuff. It's kind of like The Simpsons or whatever. But uh, I was like, you know what? This is pretty awesome that it's just, it's just the Christmas episodes. So, to me, that makes me happy. I don't think I've seen this. Hopefully, again, I don't already own it, but I don't think that I do. It's Eight Crazy Nights. And man, I don't know if it's in my collection or not. It might be. I need to keep track of stuff more. But I pretty much am collecting all of Adam Sandler's movies. I haven't seen this. It's another Christmas one. It's like a cartoon with Adam Sandler. Um, so, it's a two disc special edition for $2. Why not? 
God's Not Dead. I love this movie. I used to own it, and uh, it's pretty good for a Christian movie. Um, Kevin Sorbo, and uh, so I definitely, it's a good feeling movie. No, the classic National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now this is something I would definitely like to own on Blu-ray. I'd like to own a lot of the Christmas classics on Blu-ray, like Christmas Story or, um, you know, obviously Home Alone. You know, those are like Blu-ray worthy to me. But I figured, you know, what if I don't get it by this Christmas? You know, at least I'll have the DVD. And then if I upgrade to Blu-ray, I can always donate this or, I mean, give it to somebody as a gift or something. So, still, I picked this um, because you gotta have this. I have Vegas Vacation, and I have um, maybe the first vacation or the European Vacation, so now maybe there's only one or two that I'm missing. I'm not sure. And the final one is another Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the one that has Michael Keaton in it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as the Vulture. So I have seen this one, and I like it. And so, um, the only one I think I'm missing from the new Spider-Man series is the uh, Far From Home that I watched in theater. So, pretty awesome. There are movies that I put back. Some of the movies that I put back was Red Scorpion, you know, like an action popcorn flick. Um, I wanted to get that, but what was his name? Hmm. I can't remember the name of the actor that's in that movie. Anyway, also The Scorpion King. I don't know if I already have that or not, but it has The Rock in it. That was one of his first big movies. Um, I also had Eastbound and Down Season 2, which is a show that I love, but I'd like to get the complete series. It would have been a steal to get that for $2, but it's the second season. If I go back there and it's still there, I'll probably grab it, but I figure you know, I'll get the whole season at once or something, or, or I'll start with the first season. Um, there might be better sets of that I don't know I also put back Veggie Tales Jonah because that's kind of sentimental to me I lived that with my aunt for a while and I used to watch that over and over and I might even own that so I need to check into that but I don't think that I do though but that's a big Veggie Tales movie um, I don't remember if there's anything else I put back or not there was other stuff I was looking at too they had a season of the first season of Most Extreme Challenge, which we used to love that show, and I really thought about getting that. Um, but yeah, there was more other good stuff. But I think I picked out some really good ones out of what they had. But that having that Demons movie, like that's just that was definitely worth the trip. It's worth more than two dollars to me. I can't believe I got that. Having Grease and Mary Poppins, that's awesome. All those Spider-Man movies, Deliverance. Uh, so, that's it guys. I'll try to start making movies whenever I go to a thrift store or a pawn shop and I buy you know, movies in bulk or whatever. So, all right, thanks for watching, God bless.